The word God is for me nothing more than the expression and product of human weaknesses, the Bible a collection of honorable, but still primitive legends which are nevertheless pretty childish. No interpretation, no matter how subtle, can, for me, change this. I never teach my pupils, I only attempt to provide the conditions in which they can learn. No, this trick won't work. How on earth are you ever going to explain in terms of chemistry and physics so important a biological phenomenon as first love? Possessions, outward success, publicity, luxury, to me these have always been contemptible. I believe that a simple and unassuming manner of life is best for everyone, best for both the body and the mind. Even on the most solemn occasions I got away without wearing socks and hid that lack of civilization in high boots. All religions, arts and sciences are branches of the same tree. All these aspirations are directed toward ennobling man's life, lifting it from the sphere of mere physical existence and leading the individual towards freedom. Everything is determined, the beginning as well as the end, by forces over which we have no control. It is determined for the insect, as well as for the star, human beings, vegetables, or cosmic dust, we all dance to a mysterious tune, intoned in the distance by an invisible piper. Play is the highest form of research. God is subtle but he is not malicious. A man should look for what is, and not for what he thinks should be. Although I am a typical loner in my daily life, my awareness of belonging to the invisible community of those who strive for truth, beauty, and justice has prevented me from feelings of isolation. Student is not a container you have to fill but a torch you have to light up. Compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it, earns it, he who doesn't, pays it. Einstein was once asked how many feet are in a mile. Einstein's reply was I don't know, why should I fill my brain with facts I can find in two minutes in any standard reference book. It is, in fact, nothing short of a miracle that the modern methods of instruction have not yet entirely strangled the holy curiosity of inquiry. For this delicate little plant, aside from stimulation, stands mainly in need of freedom. Without this it goes to rack and ruin without fail. The only sure way to avoid making mistakes is to have no new ideas. Dancers are the athletes of God. You have to learn the rules of the game. And then you have to play better than anyone else. Life isn't worth living, unless it is lived for someone else. The only escape from the miseries of life are music and cats. It is the supreme art of the teacher to awaken joy in creative expression and knowledge. 
As far as the laws of mathematics refer to reality, they are not certain, and as far as they are certain, they do not refer to reality. The true value of a human being can be found in the degree to which he has attained liberation from the self. A foolish faith in authority is the worst enemy of truth. If my theory of relativity is proven successful, Germany will claim me as a German and France will declare me a citizen of the world. Should my theory prove untrue, France will say that I am a German, and Germany will declare that I am a Jew. Three great forces rule the world, stupidity, fear and greed. The only source of knowledge is experience. Nationalism is an infantile thing. It is the measles of mankind. Past is dead. Future is uncertain. Present is all you have, so eat, drink and live merry. My passionate sense of social justice and social responsibility has always contrasted oddly with my pronounced lack of need for direct contact with other human beings and human communities. I am truly a lone traveler and have never belonged to my country, my home, my friends, or even my immediate family, with my whole heart, in the face of all these ties, I have never lost a sense of distance and a need for solitude. 